Hi, this is Dr. Saif Gallagher. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to um, <clears throat> avoid one of the most feared complications of top surgery or mascoplasty, and that is the dreaded losing a nipple. So, uh, first of all, um, why do we uh, take the nipples off and put them back on? Um, well, there's a very simple answer to this. If you are too big uh, to have a keyhole type procedure, which means we just make a little incision around the nipple and leave the nipple where it is, the best thing to do to make uh, your chest um, have that nice masculine look is to take the nipples off, resize them, reshape them, and put them back on where they belong. Um, and so this means uh, your nipple comes off completely and gets planted back on as a graft and so I'm going to tell you exactly how to avoid uh, losing your nipples. So um, firstly how common is it? So full disclosure in our patients um, about 250 uh, mastectomies out of those 250 uh, we've had two nipples uh, that didn't take and when I say the nipple didn't take the areola took but the little projection uh, part didn't take. Um, one of those I have a good idea why the other I, I really have no clue. Um, one of those patients just didn't um, take care of his nipples and uh, so we did very well in only losing one and then the other I, I don't have an explanation for. So the very best thing you can do to look after your nipples initially when you wake up out of surgery and everything is covered is just leave it alone. So in our case um, we suture your dressing into position so each of those nipples has eight stitches in it uh, so the dressings uh, aren't coming off at all. After your nipple reveal and after the bolster dressing has been removed then you do go to work in taking care of the nipples. What nipples really like during this time for approximately the first two to three weeks after surgery is a moist environment. Now, nipples look weird, they look asymmetric, and the vast majority of the time you look down and they look very much so dead. Uh, sometimes the uh, top layer of the nipple or the skin may get what we call epidermolysis. So in fact, the top layer may well scab off and die, um, but this is not something to be uh, afraid of. So what I recommend for all our patients is as long as they're not allergic, we use an antibiotic ointment of their choice. So this could be a bacitrace ointment, a triple antibiotic or a neosporin. I don't see any difference between the three. And the main thing that that um, ointment is doing is keeping your nipple moist. I recommend doing this at least twice a day, sometimes a little bit more because what you don't want to see is a drying out. Um, and uh, once you put that on, that's all the care you need to do for your nipples and just the next step is to put on a band-aid which all it does is protect your clothes. So this, like I said, is done at least twice a day for about the first two to three weeks. Once the nipple is scabbed off and you're beginning to see that fresh pink skin underneath, you can then leave it alone. It doesn't need anything more. The only thing it's going to need, and probably for about the first year after it's grafted on, is uh, some lotion. It just needs moisturizer. When you get out of the shower, you'll see your nipple is more prone to drying out. And this is because it takes a long time for those sweat glands uh, to come back into the nipple tissue. So um, keeping it moist with just the antibiotic ointment, um, two to three times a day is going to be the key uh, to protecting uh, your new nipple and it shouldn't fall off. If it does fall off, don't freak out. The first rule is wait. The appearance of those nipples is going to change drastically over the first few months and it may actually surprise you. It oftentimes does and uh, improves so much that nothing needs to be done. If something needs to be done, Again, we wait at least six months, maybe a year, uh, and then we can certainly do a revision uh, to help um, produce that little uh, projected uh, part of the nipple again. So the worst thing you can do for a nipple that has just been grafted uh, back on is unfortunately to smoke. And um, why this is, is that uh, nipple goes back on, it has to grow in lots of little blood vessels very quickly. It'll do this in the first um, 48, 72 hours. Uh, its new blood supply will grow in. But if you're smoking during this time or any of the time over the next few weeks while it's trying to reestablish that blood flow, every time you're smoking, 
or even vaping with nicotine products, um, those little blood vessels constrict down and your new nipple is stuck without a blood supply or any sort of nutrition um, every time you smoke. So um, what will happen is the skin, uh, of course, will be more prone to dying and you may... Um, well lose the nipple so this is why we say before top surgery no smoking six weeks before to get all that nicotine all that bad stuff out of your system and six weeks after and then obviously you know why would you restart smoking again if you're able to stop for uh, 12 weeks but that's the rule uh, same uh, goes for vaping nicotine products are not good uh, for wound healing and particularly not good for uh, your nipple grafts that are struggling to survive in the first few days um, after surgery uh, so letting it dry out and smoking those are probably the two things you can do to guarantee uh, losing a nipple uh, but again thankfully most guys take excellent care of their new nipples and it's very rare uh, to lose a nipple